All right, this video is for anybody doing the torque shift transmission on a 6.0 diesel uh, truck, power stroke. Um, I cut a bigger window here, okay? If you're concerned about dust, figure it out after, put a little dust cover, whatever. It's this, The hole wasn't big enough for me to put my socket in there, so I cut it bigger with my Dremel tool. It was very easy to do. Be careful you don't hit the pan. Um, and that works for me. Now, um, this is my last... Uh, nut right here and this this access port hole that they were talking about online man it just didn't work for me because it's very deep man i and then i can't get my head up in there so i can't see what i'm doing nothing here i had them right here very easy uh they came out easy i'm using a screwdriver to turn the from the teeth right here uh it turns very easy i didn't take glow plugs off or none of that as long as you turn it clockwise it'll turn very easy um there was no dead center top dead nothing it, it all turned like nice so i will say if you do uh use a don't don't get those don't get these um wimpy cutoff tools okay these are for like to cut balsa wood make sure you use uh that's a joke obviously make sure you use reinforced cutoff wheels and it cuts it real nice here's the other thing i'm gonna tell you these right here are 14 uh let me show you it's a 14 uh, millimeter socket and this is what they look like uh for a second there i thought i was going to strip one and so what i did is i just put pressure to the back of my extension i had to use this extension and then i turned it and they came out um now it got me to thinking if for some reason strip one of the nuts okay you would think you're done and you're gonna panic but what you can do, since you already screwed up and stripped one of the nuts, if you do, what you do, man, take your Dremel tool and keep cutting all the way down right here. Keep cutting all the way down here. This is just to rescue catastrophe all the way down. You might even have to cut a little bit into the transmission right here, and you will have access to see clearly the nuts, and you can use a chisel and hit it off, whatever you got to do, you know, to rescue, but you can rescue it. I, I, this is just me thinking, man, what if I strip one? What I do? that's what i would do okay if i put my finger in there I, there's plenty that i can cut right here and it, it almost i want to say i want to say that it maybe says no serves no mechanical purpose uh but obviously you don't want the dust in there so if you do cut that you'd have to figure out how to weld or whatever you got to do to you know replace this part here so you don't get dust up in there uh, but i hope this helps anybody this is taking the torque converter off of the flywheel and you will have to deal with that i hope i made your life easier again this just did not work for me. I didn't take glow plugs off, none of that. The engine turned very easy, very smooth like butter by turning that. Um, and be careful not to strip nothing. Use your own discretion and judgment. This worked for me.